in the previous tutorial we have learned how to create walls windows and doors now in this tutorial we will learn how to create fill length offset rcc slab projection then steps for entry and rear entry and then all the text at first we will create this fill length offset of 75 mm if you are interested in previous set of tutorials then link to complete playlist is given in the description and if you want to learn AutoCAD from basic level then link to that playlist is also given in the description at first we will create one layer for fill length click on layer properties click on new layer then name it as fill length then assign some color then ok then line type will be continuous and line weight will be default then close this dialog box to create fill length offset we will have to offset these outside lines in the place of offsetting individual lines we will join these lines to create single line to join these lines click on modify click on join then select these lines then press enter now these lines are joined and single object is created then give offset command offset then give gap of 75 enter then select this line click outside then select this line click outside press enter then to connect these two lines we will use fillet command click on fillet select this line and select this line then to join this line we will use polyline edit command that is p edit type p e for polyline edit enter then select this polyline and click on close and escape so this line is completely joined then select this line click here click on fill length and escape then next is this RCC slab projection of 150 mm and if we offset from this fill length offset then this gap will be 75 mm click on offset gap of 75 is already there press enter select this line take your cursor outside and click and escape then select this line we want this line to be in hidden format therefore we will use this chajja layer and press escape so both these lines has been created then next is to create these steps zoom here then we will create one more layer for steps click on layer properties click on new layer then type steps then choose color ok then close this dialog box then make steps layer current then click on line click on this endpoint take your cursor on this side ensure that your line is straight if it is not straight make ortho on then give the direction give the length of 300 enter then take your cursor on this end point track that point and click and press enter then give offset command click on offset specify offset distance of 300 enter then select this line and click on this side again select this line click on this side enter then click on fillet select this line and select this line then 
one line is required here you can copy this line click on copy select this line enter then specify this end point as base point and this point as second point press escape so these steps are ready then we want steps on this side we will copy these steps click on copy select the steps enter specify base point take your cursor above and click escape then we will have to rotate these steps for that click on rotate select these objects enter specify base point take your cursor above and click then create one line here click on line specify this end point as a first point this as a second point enter then we will move these steps click on move select this object enter specify this point as a base point and specify this point as a second point then we will have to stretch these steps for that click on stretch then click here take your cursor on the left side and click here then press enter specify this end point as a base point and this end point as a second point so these steps are also ready then next is to place text for that also we will create one text layer click on layer properties click on new layer then type text and click here and choose your color okay then close this dialog box then make text layer current so at first we will type this living room 3000 by 3700 click on multi line text then specify first corner specify opposite corner then type living room enter 3000 then for multiplication sign type x and type 3700 then click outside now this text is very small to increase the size double click on it then select the text then click here and we will give here height of 150 that is half of the wall width then enter click outside zoom minus then we want this text center align double click on it select this text and click on center then click outside then move it and place it in the center click on move select this object enter specify base point take your cursor below make ortho off and click then we will copy this text in other rooms click on copy select this text enter specify base point then specify second point then escape then double click this is kitchen and the size is 3700 by 4000 click outside then bedroom and size is 3000 by 4000 click outside then bath then size is 2150 by 1200 click outside then WC and size is 1200 by 1000 now to place this in empty space double click on it select it and make its alignment right 
and click outside then move it click on move select this object enter specify base point and place it in empty space properly click so all the room text has been placed then next is door text again copy this text click on copy select this text enter specify base point specify second point and we will copy one more for window also escape then double click type here d and click outside double click type here w click outside then move it click on move select this text enter specify base point and place it in the center then we will copy this click on copy select this object enter specify base point and copy here and here enter then double click and make it d2 then copy this you can also type co for copy select object enter specify base point specify second point enter then double click d1 click outside then copy this co enter select this object enter specify base point and specify second point then here also d1 escape so all the doors text has been placed then window move it type m for move enter select object enter specify base point specify second point then copy this co enter select this object enter specify base point and specify second point and place it everywhere and for this ventilator also escape now all these windows are same only this window is small double click and make it w1 click outside then these are ventilators double click and make it v double click v click outside so all the windows and ventilator text has been placed then next is to place this leader or p length offset 75 click on leader then take your cursor on this line then track this midpoint click take it outside make ortho on and click then type there p length enter offset 75 click outside then to make it properly visible click on annotation click on multi leader style click on modify click on leader structure and here we'll make the scale of 30 okay close now it is properly visible then we want to align this text at the center of this leader for that again click on annotation click on multi leader style click on modify then click on content and for a horizontal attachment click here on middle of text for left attachment and for right attachment also middle of text okay close now it is showing in the middle then click on this click on this point and take it inside and click and escape then next is this rcc slab projection 150 for this we will copy this leader type co enter select this leader enter give this endpoint as a base point then make ortho off and take your cursor to this intersection point take it above track that point and click then one more is required for this chajja 
click on this midpoint escape then double click rcc slab enter and projection 150 click outside then this one chajja projection 600 double click click outside then this entry and rear entry again we will copy this copy select this object enter click on this endpoint then click here enter then make it entry click outside then for this we will give one more leader click on leader click here take your cursor above make ortho on click and type here rear enter click outside so all the text has been placed and if you want to create pdf like this with thickness then for that click here on layer properties then in this wall click here and increase the thickness to 0.5 okay then to create pdf click on plot then click here and select this adobe pdf high quality print then click here and select paper of a4 size here is a4 and we will choose this portrait paper 210 by 297 then click on this display click on this window and click here take your cursor on right side and click then center the plot then ensure that you have this tick plot object line width click on preview then to make it black and white right click exit click here and select monochrome yes preview now here you can see that thickness is added to the wall then right click exit and ok then name it and save so here you can see that the pdf with thickness is created and if you want to add thickness to these lines also then you will have to select all those lines and change their layers to wall then thickness will be added to those lines also and click here and click on wall and escape then again click on plot click here and click on previous plot so it will copy all the settings of previous plot click on preview so here thickness is added to this line also right click exit and ok and save yes so here thickness is added to these lines also so in this way you can create pdf also for the plan then to align this leader click here and click on align then select multi leaders enter and select multi leader to align to click on this multi leader and then specify direction so direction is vertical only click so here these leaders has been aligned so that's all this plan is completely ready in the next tutorial we will continue to create elevation and cross section and we will also place furniture and we will also continue our series on AutoCAD basics and we will create tutorials for electrical, chemical and interiors. So thanks for watching. We will stop here.